you are interested to find the area of this nanoparticle the area for example this is these are nanoparticles and if you are interested that how much area occupied this nano particles mm. so or micro particles so you can use mhj software this is mhj software let's go and see how it works here so this is mhj software here and you just need to open here that file here for example this one here so the first and important thing is to tell the mhj that how mhj will read this so you need to uh, uh, fit this scale with the mhj okay so now if our nanoparticle was a completely circle so we can simply use this one here very easy but our spheres our uh, particles are not circle if we have a rectangle shape so you can use rectangle and you have <coughs> this shape you can use this shape but for this particular shape for this zigzag shape we have this base tool here but before that let's tell the mj to how we can um, uh, measure uh, this distance so just sit this scale uh, draw this scale here and we have to uh, click the sh press the shift and draw this here so MHJ can know that this bar represents 50 nanometer. Okay. Now go to analyze. The first and very far most thing is to go to analyze and sit scale here. Okay. It's very very important here. So the known distance. What I am telling to the MHJ that the known distance is 50 nanometer because this scale is 50 nanometer here. And the units I am telling that it is in nanometer. In okay now okay now let's take this shape and now don't press shift because uh, uh, this is zigzag so just hold this mouse here and draw uh, uh, the like this shape you can zoom the shape and do the measurement so now press ctrl M so you will see that the result is here the below result this is basically area so the area is 19 7, 5, 4, 5 nanometer the second case you can take as many as possible here I uh, just take another one here uh, uh, just take another this one here that will be the third one here you just need to take great care so the best option is to zoom this here control m here so you will see that when you press control m so this is the third here you see now this is a little bit smaller area so you just convert this into uh, meter square or uh, nanometer square so this is how you can find the area uh, the area of a, a nanomaterial or uh, nanoparticles so uh, if we take this smaller one here so you will see that the area will be very very smaller comparatively press ctrl m so it will automatically save there you see the area is very very small here and now the important thing is you just need to uh, zoom this area here when you zoom this now you can easily draw this uh, uh, using mhj okay now you can easily draw here you see here with very care here something like this you see so using this now you see it's very good so this is basically this tool is very interesting tool as i told you there is a zigzag i don't want to waste the time here so just I bombard this here and you will see the result here that how the result is the fourth one here you see now it's 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 more than this you see it's more because uh, it is not more that it's almost less than this but this is the more accurate result here this is the uh, area occupied by the nanoparticle so this is a very very interesting tool and very easy tool uh, how to use uh, this uh, stuff to find the uh, dimensions of your nanoparticles okay thanks for watching